So, like, a month ago or so, I was at my LGS, right? And uh, this guy was like, you know, I sure love Popper, you know, but it'd be cool uh, if there was a format that was uncommons and basic lands, and that was all that was legal. And I was like, that's stupid. The whole point of Popper is like, oh, commons are weak, and you're supposed to, like, show how cool that is. But he's like, yeah, but there's there's cool uncommons, and there's cool strategies. And I'm like, uh-huh. Um, but it kind of stuck with me, right? So I just thought, like... I'd look over what a theoretical metagame would look like, and here's what I came up with. First off, he's, a, like, incredibly stupid here, because we know that this format would just be fucking destroyed by Smog Apprentice. Um, if you don't know this combo, Wither, Broom, Wither Bloom Apprentice says whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery, each opponent loses a life and you gain a life, and, um, Chain of Smog... Uh, target player discards two cards from their hand and may copy this spell and choose a new target for the copy. So you choose yourself and you copy it infinite times to deal infinite damage with Apprentice. This combo costs four mana total. Alright, it people complain about Thassa's Oracle and Demonic Consultation in Commander, where you have to get through your whole 100 card deck. Here you can run four ofs in a 60 card deck. Alright, this would just absolutely destroy a format. Um... Like, no shot. Uh, so, uh, this would clearly be the deck of the format. Um, you'd have things like Narset to uh, disrupt your opponent's drawing and help you impulse to get cards into your hand. You have Veil of Summer to protect your combo. You have Worldly Tutor to find Apprentice. You have Limdol's Vault to find either piece. Uh, Snuff Out is free removal. Force of Will is a free counter spell. Um, Demonic Tutor to find either piece. Uh, Balaged Recovery to get pieces back and to act as land. And then City of Brass is legal, so you have, like, perfect color fixing there. Um, this deck would just absolutely rule the format, and that was, like, my first thought. Because I'm like, there's no way that any deck could even compare to this. Um, and I was right. Because, like, I, I tried to come up with some, like, other ideas for what would be here. I was like, oh, Tinker's legal. But if you look at the Tinker targets in... So we're, we're just going to go... Mana value going down, artifact, and uncommon. If we look at it, right, these targets kind of suck. You got uh, either Sworn Sphinx, it's okay. Hulking Metamorph is okay. Um, I feel like Angel of the Ruins is probably a good option, but like, there's really not that many things that you want to be hitting badly off this list. Um, so Tinker in the format would probably be like a God Pharaoh statue deck. Um, you would Tinker as soon as possible, get God Pharaoh statue, and then just slow down your opponent's game plan. Um, and it would be more annoying than anything else because there's not like a huge target for Tinker beatdown. Um, maybe Suchi, but like it, your options are really limited. Um, so I don't think Tinker would be a very strong deck. Um, I thought, hey, well, food is pretty good. Um, you have the whole Witch's Oven and um, Cauldron Familiar, so you'll create a free food every turn with that. Um, bring back Cauldron Familiar, you know, that's fine. And then you have Disciple of the Vault to burn out and Nadir's Nightblade to burn, um, along with Experimental Confectioner and Rosy Cotton uh, to just bump up your board. And then Nuka Cola Vending Machine for just more value. And while this deck is kind of a value engine, it really just can't combo out. So I thought, okay, what about combo decks? Um, you have Krug Clan Ironworks, um, and if you get two Mirror Retrievers, you can combo out with that. Uh, use Moon Silver Key to get Krug Clan into your hand, Enlighten Tutor to grab either piece, and then Fabricate and Tinker uh, to grab either piece of the combo. Uh, but even then, I think it's way slower uh, than Apprentice and Smog. So there's just no real shot. Um, they brought this one up, uh, Constant Mists, so it'd be a deck with Constant Mists, right, and then either 4 Lull or 56 Forest, or I'm running all of the above, and then you basically just get to two lands, and then every turn you either draw into a Tangle, or a, another Constant Mist, or a Forest, and you just, it's like Turbo Fog, basically, and it runs more cards than your opponent so that, theoretically, you deck them out. Um, and I was like, yeah, that's fine, but, like, the, the, the Wither Bloom Apprentice combo doesn't really care about attacking. 
So it doesn't really matter. It's just kind of a mid deck. Um, and then they were like, okay, what about like beat down decks? Um, so I think Cyberman beatdown would be an interesting sort of deck, uh, basically forcing your opponent to, well, not really forcing them to do anything. If they block, they take three damage from afflict. If they don't block, they take the combat damage, uh, using things like plated onslaught to just pump up a board, um, and then using free artifact creatures like Memnite, um, where it's like they're either taking one damage or they're blocking and taking three, um, where it's making the opponent make painful um, and then it can also use things like Banish to Another Universe for removal. Um, however, it just seems kind of slow as is. I didn't really see enough support for it to be like a main deck. Um, Uncommons do have a lot of graveyard support, so there's ways to get things in the graveyard. Um, and then I figure the payoff would probably be something like Rise of the Varmints. Um, you'd create a board of Varmints and then win with something like Triumph of the Horde. Uh, however... Again, it's just really slow compared to the Smog Apprentice combo. Um, uh, then I was thinking, okay, what about a long game sort of deck? Um, and or a not really long game. So technically all of the Urza's pieces are in... Um, um, like are in both Pauper and um, like Uncommon. They have Uncommon printings is what I mean. Uh, if you check... Is ninth edition is the uncommon printing. So technically, yes, you could do Urza's and you could do Eldrazi Temple, um, an ancient tomb to try and ramp out big threats like Artisan of Kozlek, Pathraiser of Olamog, um, Mishra's Bobble, and Relic to either draw or like get rid of your opponent's graveyard. And then Silver Shroud costume is a way to both make your creatures unblockable um, and protect them uh, if they would be targeted. So, well, yes, this deck theoretically could work. Um, again, I just think it might be too slow um, when you're given a deck that essentially wins on turn three. Um, you have good reanimate options. I mean, any format that has uh, Buried Alive, Dread Return, and um, reanimate itself is uh, has an uncommon printing. Uh, from the Graveborn deck and Arch Enemy. So, while well, yes, technically you could build a pretty strong reanimate deck, um, it's really hard to beat something that could win on turn 3. Uh, another thought was Burn deck. There's a lot of really good burn cards from Bolt, uh, Price of Progress, which isn't really going to hit too many decks because, like, outside of Urza's Lands, uh, Ancient Tomb, Cabal Coffers, Sure, there's some strong non-basics in the format, theoretically, um, but it really doesn't have dual lands or anything like that, uh, whereas Pauper has, like, bridges and snow lands and stuff like that, so you're not really given that sort of option. Um, acidic Soil is another... Uh, Pyrohemia for extra damage, and then um, Ruminap Ruins, which I know was really big. There was uh, Ruminap Red a while ago. Um, and then on top of that, other cards that I think could be important in the format, uh, Hedron Crab could beat a pretty strong mill deck. Uh, there are Boggles, so if you want to do the whole, um, Voltron Boggle deck that Pauper has, uh, Lab Maniac for a possible self-mill deck, there is Ephemerate, so blinking is possible. Swords to Plowshares, I believe, would be a big piece of removal. Uh, They Shall Know No Fear could be really good for a tribal-type deck or, like, Slivers. Um, Mana Drain is always going to be big, um, and then Bazaar of Baghdad is probably the most expensive card in the format. Um, but as you can tell, like, it really doesn't matter, because it seems like the format would kind of just be run by one deck. Um, and while Pauper does have its problem with deck redundancy, um, as do a lot of formats, you know, Scam took over for a while last year, uh, things like that, it's, there are ways to counter Scam, right? I don't see a way to counter uh, Witherbloom Smog besides running a shit ton of counter spells. Or even if you do run counter spells, um, like, it, yeah, the deck itself has counter spells to counter your counter spells. Um, it just really doesn't leave you with options. Um, and that's about it. So uh, I'm pretty sure he actually subs to my YouTube channel. 
Uh, so if he sees this, uh, your idea is, I guess, interesting enough for me to make a short video on it, but like really unbalanced. Uh, bye.